All right, guys, I'm at Matty Ice Studios. It is Friday. This is a major interview. Um, I haven't had a big interview like this, I'd say. In a, it's been a couple weeks, so I'm really excited about it. Um, did you fly in, bro? I flew in, bro. Okay, we got Mario Cannon here. Did I say it, bro? We got Mario Cannon here. What's good? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you flew in from where? Man, so we actually flew in from St. Louis, you know, but I'm from, I'm from Central Illinois, man, so yeah. That's where I'm from. So that's why I was kind of chopping up. Really? The yeah, yeah. We, we, I'm from Springfield originally, man. Where you from? I'm from like Schaumburg area, Vernon Hills. Yeah, I know where that's at. Yeah. So you know Woodfield Mall. Oh yeah, I love Woodfield Mall, man. That's my spot, bro. I used to work there when I was like um, 15, 16, 17, 18. What you used to do up there? The pretzel shop? I used to work at Iguana. You know the mix stand? Yeah. yeah so I used to sell like uh, mix CDs. I used to DJ out there, bro. I used to DJ at, like Zero Gravity, Energy Nightclub, um, <clears throat> Crowbar downtown. Yeah. Spy Bar, all those places, bro. But I was into, like, EDM and house music and, and all that stuff, bro. Yeah, I rock so, with EDM and house music, too, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was, and that's Chicago, bro. If you know Chicago's house music, yeah, you know. it's crazy, bro. Yeah. Do you know Mix and Mark? You DJ out there? No, I don't know. Okay. So you know Twista, obviously. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know you guys have had, you guys got some stuff coming, too. Yeah. Um, how do you know, I call him Carl from, you know, Carl Mitchell. Everybody knows him by in Chicago, but they know him by Twista, too. Yeah. Um, how did you guys link up? Look, man, my, my manager, D, man, he already had a relationship with Raw, right? Okay. And so uh, I was like, man, you know, I'm going to do, do a feature. I'm going to do a song or whatever. And he was like, man, why not Twister? I was like, man, that'd be legendary. Like, Twister, let's make it happen. And so, uh, you know, like anything else, you do the feature, right? Um, he sends a, a verse over, pull up with the video, bro, and that was history right there. What's crazy, bro, is he's like, he got to be close to 50 years old now. I don't even know, man. He, he and he's still spitting crazy. He's the fastest rapper. Yeah, technically, man. Like I don't even know. Like I'm watching him. How he takes breaths while real stage, man. I'm like, man, this dude's incredible, man. His uh, his album Adrenaline Rush is, is it has to be one of my favorite albums ever. I agree. It's the, it's one of the best albums ever. If, it, you can listen to that from the beginning and the end, and you're never gonna find an album like that that will give you that sound. You just it, won't. And it's a, it's a, it's all original, right? It's just like a, it's like a, it's like a new it's new. Everything is new, so mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, do or die, man. This is bringing back some old uh, Johnny P. Yep, Johnny P. Yeah, they made some hits together too. Yeah, Johnny P. Cole, he was cold, man. I love him, man. For sure. And oh, then I, I know Twista. Um, obviously, I'm from Illinois, Chicago. Yeah, I hate saying I'm from Chicago because I get in trouble for that all the time. But I'm from Illinois. But I used to, you know, I used to go to the city all the time, so it's still my city. Same thing. Same yeah, thing. They same do, th people do that to me all the time, bro. Right. Like y'all, that's Chicago. I'm, like, I'm from the burbs. I, you know, I make it known. I'm from the burbs, yeah, but yeah. I still went to the city every fucking weekend. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But um, how I know Twista and Raul is I used to throw concerts, and the last one I threw was um, Machine Gun Kelly, and then I brought in Twista, and I dealt with Raw on that. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, I've met Twista in numerous other places and stuff like that, but that was, like, my first time kind of doing business with them and bringing them on, and he put on an incredible performance. If you watch it on YouTube, it was legendary, bro. Um, MGK and Twista, like, smoked a blunt on stage, bro, to How, to how I Got High and shit like that. And uh, it was just a legendary night, bro. He, he's a hell of a showman, man. He's the dude. He can perform, bro. Like people don't understand. Like he can perform, bro. And he's been mentoring me, man. Like so, that's what he's been doing. It's mentoring me on, you know, my showmanship and things like that. So. I didn't watch his interview. I just saw he did Drink Champs, though. That's dope. Did you yeah. see it? Yeah, I, I ain't watched the interview, but I seen he did it. Mm -hmm. I just commented on it and stuff like that. Yeah, it's big time. Yeah, that's huge, man. That's they're, huge. They're going crazy. What do you guys got going on? I know you said team mentor. He mentors you. Yeah, yeah. What do you guys got going on musically? So uh, we have a track out uh, called Play to Win. It's an actual video. It's, it's fire. It's doing great numbers. Um, Chicago's really supporting it. And so he took me on tour with him. So I've been going on tour with him. So I got to go on the Legend Tour. So with uh, like Too Short, you know, Juvenile, Ludacris, things like that. So and he's definitely on my album coming up as well. So Okay, so let's talk about that then. I didn't even know you had an album coming up. So yeah, yeah. when do you got the album coming? Uh, breaking Hearts and Breaking Records, man. Look, I was scheduled to drop. <laughs> For Valentine's Day, so now it's looking like I'm gonna drop it in March, man. Mid March, so I'm looking at so with a twisted feature, with a twisted feature, with a Montana feature, with a Bone Thugs and Harmony feature. Anything else? It might be something else. So. Okay, that's big. So you got you've been working with Bone Thugs too. So I got Busy Bone on there. Fire. I yeah. think they're doing a show out here soon. I think I've seen them out. In, I've been seeing them there. They they're everywhere, bro. Yeah, Busy Bone was my favorite one. He was my so um to be on a song with him was him. It's me, him, and Montana on one song together. How old are you, bro? Man, I'm old, man. What's old? I'm in my 30s, man. I'm 34, so you know you good, bro. Yeah, cool. Um, I, I always say this. I bring this up when people say, "Hey, I'm older," or, you know, whatever the case might be. Yeah. Rick Ross dropped "Every Day I'm Hustling" at like 35 years old, and that was actually that's still his biggest song, and that's his song that kind of took him 
to oh. the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was at 35. And that's yeah. when that's really when he started to go to blow up. Yeah. So it doesn't fucking matter, dude. I know it don't. You know what I'm saying? Um, it just doesn't matter. I tell it to any artist that comes in here, bro, because your moment could be at any time. Yeah, yeah. And that's what's fire about it. Do you have albums out before this one right here? Yeah, I got one called Dark Bowl, and that was just like, like an EP uh, kind of highlighting COVID. So like when I was going through COVID, man, I was like, man, I had to shut down my businesses because, you know, I own a few, you know, some franchises and stuff. And, you know, uh, my, my kids are out of school. Um, it was just kind of like, man, it was it was a period of time. I was like, I was in the dark mode. So I was like, I'm going to release something called Dark Mode. And I got a couple of features on there, too. So some good ones. So is it really just rapping from you, singing? Because I've heard you sing and I've, and I've heard you rap. So is it both or what are you aiming to do? Um, more for me, uh, just perform, rap. You know, rap was first. The singing thing, I'm just I'm learning and I'm getting better as I as I keep learning. So yeah, you think it's good to be versatile and, and be able to do both? You got to man, because um, people like tunes they can catch on to man, and, you, and they like people listen to rhythms and patterns. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they might not even know the lyrics. They might just like how, like the sound of the song and, and the beats. So, you were also on Empire. How did that happen? And how long were you on the show for? So I was on the show for uh, just for season six, but I had already been like working background and being a stand. I was actually a stand-in for Trey Byers. So I was working, you know, years on the show. Um, when I first started, I was a background. I was I used to sleep in my car just to get there and make sure I'm there on time and stuff, you know. And I kind of moved up. Um, got a few auditions. Well, a lot of auditions I got denied for. And then the last one, I rapped one of my original songs, and that got me the part. So what was your character in the show? Uh, I played uh, Young Lucius. No shit. That's yeah. huge, bro. Yeah, yeah. So I was a Terrence Howard uh, lookalike guy, you know. Uh, That's big role. Yeah, yeah, it was a big role. And I actually got to do music on the show. So the song... Uh, that's what the DJ spins. I had to re-record that uh, for the uh, for the episode, and they end up keeping it for the show too. How's he? How's Terrence? Terrence is cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what, man? I I really I didn't get to connect with Terrence like that, man. Uh, but I connect with a lot of people. And everybody was cool on set, man. You know, you it was just kind of like it's I business too. It's business, bro. It's just business. So. Who did you say you kind of built a friendship with though? At Trey, Empire? Trey Byers, man. Um, that dude, he was. Before I even got on the show, he told me I was going to get on the show. Like, he manifested it. Um, I was his stand-in. I was his, like, double or whatever. And he was, like, he pulled me to the side. He's like, hey, man, you, you, you're a great young brother. I like your energy. He's like, hey, you're going to be in my place one day. And when you do, I want you to do the same thing I'm doing to you, to the next person. Bring him up. And um, he spoke that into, in, into fruition, and it came. It happened. Do you think being featured on Empire really helped your career as far as to get you to where you are right now? Definitely. Definitely. Open more doors. What, what's changed? Like, what's changed since? Um, I got, you know, I got bigger agents now for booking, for acting now. Um, definitely get more hits to do shows, do uh, host events and stuff like that. Um, I was able to start my own film company afterwards as well because of the momentum I had, you know. Um, so it helped me out a lot. So you said you own some businesses. Yep. Which businesses do you own? Um, so right now, I, I own an Anytime Fitness uh, franchise as well. It, up here? In, in, in Lincoln, Illinois. Okay. And, uh, I got a shoe store called Elite Kicks where we sell everything, you know. You shoes, uh, consignment shoes? No, all, all new. Okay. Um, all dead stock. We'll do. We try not it's to do It's big used. right now, though, because all those stores are bringing in, you know, the consignment shoes. and Yeah. I, I buy them. Shit. Yeah, we, we try not to do used. We try to keep it all new because, you know, people are real prideful to use shoes. Is that in a mall? No, I got a standalone location. Fire. Yeah. And that's in your hometown? That's in that's in Lincoln, Illinois. Okay. And I got a I got a small cakes I part on that in Destin, Florida. Um, and then also I got a restaurant in Springfield, Illinois, you know, uh, called Icy Barbecue. Icy? I see barbecue. Okay. I see. I gotta. I gotta come. Oh um. uh, yeah, you gotta come, bro. <laughs> we just uh, me and me and my uh, partner. We just we got gambling coming next, and we got our liquor license already. We get gambling. And they next. just did sports betting is legal now in Illinois too. Really? Yeah. Rivers has it. It's gone. Rivers has a sports book. It's time to go. So, bro, what makes you wake up every day and be able to handle the the entertainment side of it all, the music side of it all, then the businesses, and then you said you have kids too. How yeah. do you how do you manage it all? It's bigger than me, man. You know. Um, I find a purpose that's bigger than me, man. My son, my daughter, you know, my family, you know, they mean so much to me that I, I win and, and, and help them, with, you know, not only just financially, but um, give them a sense of hope and a sense of purpose, and I want to bring that back to my neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? So that's 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 why I do it. It's bigger than me. It's tough right now. You, you know, I'm in Arizona now. I've been here for seven years, but you see, like, all the violence that's going on in Chicago, and it's really wild out there, man. Um, what do you think that artists can do or people can do to kind of make the violence somewhat less in Chicago. I know Twist has done a lot. He, yeah. did, he used to do, um, what was it, Stop the Guns or what was it? There was one thing he was really pushing for a long time. Yeah. I forgot what it was. There was a big slogan for it, but he was pushing it for a while. Yeah. He's been a big advocate for that. Same same here, man. So, uh, 
you know, I lost a lot of my siblings to, to gun violence, you know, in Springfield, you know. So, uh, I mean, this is something that's close to home for my family. We suffered a lot of losses. But my, my thing is with artists, what we can do is understand that we have a responsibility um, to the community. Because in, especially in our communities in, in general, we have a lot of children without fathers, right? So they look to artists. We're, we're like the fathers. So what we put out there, they're going to literally take that a lot of times. And we got to understand, man, we got to start taking responsibility for what, what we're telling these kids, man. Because they're they, they going to follow what we do, you know. And um, that's what I do. Um, I definitely go, and I've done a lot of community work, man, in, in the city, especially in Chicago, Stop the Violence Rallies, campaign, speaking to kids, going to different schools, telling them my story, man. I give them the real story. You know, it, it's not, my story's not pretty, but yeah, I've, I've, you know, I beat the odds. You know what I'm saying? So, when you say you beat the odds, like, give me an example of that. You know, I've, I've been in trouble. I've been, you know, been incarcerated a few times. You know, I've been through a lot, man, and I didn't let that define me. But what I did do was instead of going, I could have went the other route, right? I could have just kept staying in trouble. But what I did do was just change my life for the positive. I don't use any profanity in my music. Um, and that's crazy to come hard and still not use profanity, but I do, right? And I, I'm in the trenches doing shows in Chicago in the hood. Like, I'm open up for FPG Doug, but I'm still not, I'm not uh, cursing or nothing in my, my music, man. People rock it with me. Uh, they like the message, you know. Whether whether they feel the feel the vibe or not, they love my message. So. Do you uh, have you met Dirk or any of those guys out in Chicago yet? Um, I haven't met Dirk personally, but I've met a lot of people around Dirk. Like who? Uh, like Nemo and all those guys. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you a supporter of the label? Huh? Are you a supporter of those guys? I support everybody, bro. Mm -hmm. I support everybody. Um, I, I don't pick no sides in the game, man. You know, it's, it's love everywhere, man. I feel that that's a good way to be. Unfortunately, yeah. I've kind of uh, I picked some sides here and there, and I yeah. got to stay with that, bro. It is yeah. what it is. Um, it's tough. It's a tough industry right now. Yeah. Especially with you see the the beef going on with Young Boy and Dirk right now too. They've been going at it like crazy with each other. I just want to see that stop too. Like I want that to stop. I was just with Emily Chopper, man, uh, in Chicago. We did like a little Christmas event together, man, mm -hmm. uh, with Flawless Diamonds, um, and that 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 kid is. That dude is amazing. Like he's, he's I liked what he said. I saw something he said on a podcast and he, he kept it real with, with what the Dirk and the young boy situation was. The guy doesn't even smoke or drink or anything. He was actually doing the event, he was like fasting. Yeah, I heard him say like he doesn't even uh he's doing some a lot of crazy shit actually. Yeah, but, <laughs> but he's he's wise beyond his years, man. Ali is wise beyond his other man, you know, so he, he don't uh, drink or smoke or anything? No, he's no. fasting? Yeah, he's fasting. Ain't even eating? Man, he be fasting, bro. Yeah, bro, it's crazy. No meat, all that stuff. Like he, we was rolling, man. And uh, I ended up getting him some shoes and stuff, man. He he had, ended up giving me his number. We ended up, you know, now we cool. You know what I'm saying? We, we, maybe some, maybe some will have it. Maybe you, you know, know. You never know. That's <laughs> how it happens, though, bro. With it, within this industry, in this business, whatever you want to call it, it's all about relationships and meeting somebody and then just building a genuine connection with them. And then you realize, then they're just your friend, and it's like, what up? What up? Let's do this. Let's do that. You know what I'm saying? Yep. That's definitely. what it comes down to, bro. Definitely, man. I think it's important to create uh, good relationships and use them to your advantage yeah man my, that's one thing like that's one thing me and my manager talk about a lot man d shout out to d this being genuine that's it just be genuine man like it you ain't you ain't everybody you're not looking for something to come up off everybody man just be cool man it, what's, what's supposed to happen is going to happen you put in the work hard work doesn't go unnoticed i, pr I promise so what you put in the, in, in the universe that's a, that's plant the seeds gonna come back man. do you see yourself getting back like to do tv shows getting back into film getting even into movies so yeah, I'm I'm always auditioning. Like before I came here, I had an audition for Chicago PD. You know what I'm saying? So I'm always working. In 2020, I won uh, Best Actor in Chicago uh, for the 40 hour uh, 48 hour film festival. I won okay. Best Actor. Yeah. Right. Do you know any like the club promoters out there in Chicago or anything like that? I wonder if we know a lot of the same people. Man, we probably do. You know man. Jabber, Mike Jabber. Bro, I know. So look, I meet I meet so many people. All right. I'm horrible with names. I got you. I'm terrible. You know faces. I know faces, man. I, I need to get better. I, I, I got to start practicing better but man what's your favorite spots in the city man i just like going to the restaurants man like what's your spot like uh, maple and ash you okay know, so you tavern got that out here tavern on rush you know gibson's i like yeah i like oh gibson's gibson's, gibson's fire. i love gibson's man yeah. italian uh, man matter of fact shout out to uh, Leroy's hawkins we was just there the other night. <laughs> gibson's the chicago spot yeah me and me and Leroy's was just there man so we was chilling man what are some other good spots out there bro man i like man what the west loop like ace ace hotel area yeah like down there man that whole strip number is lit to be real with you bro um i lived in illinois for 27 years and like it will always be home to me 
but moving here was definitely a, like a dream. But I just went back to the city maybe a month ago, and it was super fucking dope. Like I just, I literally just walked around like fifteen. I walked the whole fucking city just everywhere, bro. Like yeah, it's just a vibe, bro. You can't, you can't, you can't experience it unless you're there. You gotta be there, man. Chicago gets a bad rap, man. But it's but people. If you don't go there, you don't know that that what they push out in the news, man. That's not how Chicago. That's not Chicago. Chicago's a beautiful city. Yeah, every city has its rough patches. We all got injuries but man it's a beautiful city how i look at it like this bro especially in life it's life's like a numbers game too bro when you have a huge city like that bro you're just gonna be hard to control a lot of things dude like it's just gonna be hard to, to control things yeah you know what I mean? you got so many people bro there's gonna be problems it's just like the law of averages to me that's kind of how i look at it that's actually that's very logical and simplistic that's basic that's basic i never had a problem bro like you know and not, not maybe i wasn't looking but you know i never had a problem in the city like that you are the energy you attract man you know what I'm saying? You're a good dude. You're going to have good stuff happen to you, man. So that is basic, but it's... For sure. So you got something coming with Montana 300? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about that, and how did you guys link up, and how did that project happen? So I talk to bro, like, almost every day. Uh, so we, and we record in the same studio. So, okay, so that makes things uh, a little yeah, easier. Yeah, so we, we've been, man, we've been locked in for years. That's like, that's my bro. But like, this is the first project? No, this is, like, okay. the, maybe the fourth. Okay. But this here is different, man. This is a heat where we just go back and forth uh, it's called god shootout and and you know my tennis known for punchlines and bars and i'm starting to get known for my punchlines and bars with a few of the remixes i just dropped so you know people have been rocking with those man with uh you just dropped notice me uh, i dropped notice me that that's that's a semi remix slash single right because you know i kind of took the usher uh hook and you know did my thing you know that's going like, crazy yeah, man, so I'm almost at a mill. That's going crazy. Yeah, I'm almost at a mill. It's on, on Instagram and YouTube, man. Can't, can't wait to get that Spotify check. <laughs> <laughs> I need my revenue Spotify. Nah. Is that your biggest uh, Is that your biggest hit right now? Right now? Yeah, yeah. That and then uh, the one with Twista and What's Up Mario. Yeah, my, those three are, are banging right now. What's that like, bro, to see you as an artist and then you, you know, see these views hit almost a mill? Bro, it's, it's like... That's a lot. It's a lot. And I'm happy for it, man. Because it's like, man, you know, I've been working so hard for so long doing this, man. It's like, finally. Like, finally, man. I got V30s and... Like, <laughs> you know, nah, I've been bro, doing it, this forever. It's due time, bro. You put in the work and it will happen. Bro, and I tell people, like, man, you know, it's, it's expensive being a rapper. It is not cheap. I'm looking at your ice right there, bro. Hey, shout out to Flawless yeah, Diamonds. Yeah, who's the jeweler, bro? Flawless Diamonds, okay. man. Nick, man. My man's Nick. That shit's hitting, bro. And hey, we got you. I need a Cuban, bro. I need, see, I need to get uh, this replaced. I need this is fucking. Yeah, you need a Cuban. We're going to change yeah. the bell. Let's make your bell. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need that. We're going to take care of you. I need that. Wait, I got you. I'm in bro. the market for it right now. Actually. No, I'm like, like we're going to FaceTime him after okay. this and talk to him. I'm down, bro. Okay, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been, I've been talking. My jeweler be. I go to a really good jeweler. He just, they tax the fuck out of me, bro. I'm not going to lie, bro. And I went to Jason from Beverly Hills. He does Lakers rings and fucking, you know, all. He's, he gave me legit, uh, he gave me like legit diamonds for show. But you know, you know what it is with diamonds. Diamonds aren't even worth that much money. It's the weight of the gold, bro. So it's a heavy piece, but. Diamonds ain't worth, they ain't but, worth shit. But my main thing, the reason why I bought so many diamonds, man, uh, I, wanted, I wanted to protect my money. So I bought diamonds and I insured everything. That's what I did too. I insured all my jewelry. Yep. But. I know I could have got this for a lot less. <laughs> for sure. We're going to talk about it. I yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've learned the whole jewelry game, unfortunately, bro. And that's one industry you got to be very fucking careful of, too. I've been, si I've been sitting, <laughs> on, I sit in the office with, with uh, Nick, and uh, you should see the Drake piece he did with the owls holding the. What's the jeweler? What's his name, bro? Uh, Nick. What's the what's the company? Fla Flawless Diamonds. I think I've seen it, bro. Yeah, you have, bro. I'm sure I've seen him on the ground. I know you have, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah for and, sure. Yeah, he just did. I got. Uh, he did a, a Cuban for Iverson. Where does he stay at? He's in Chicago. That's where his store's at, too. Yeah. Fuck. Okay. Bro, we can go in the know, city. In the city. Okay. Yeah. Dope. Is it WGCI ninety two point three? Those still the big stations over there? Dude, so WGCI is killing it, and then you got Power too. Power's going. Power ninety two point three. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Power's cold, bro. Is Tone Capone still up there? I think Tone Capone is. They've yeah. been spinning my uh, records, so it's been crazy. It's crazy, bro. Yeah. Um, and then I don't know. Do you know? Do you remember Tim? Uh, uh, Tim Buck too. I know Tim Buck too. Passed away. You know. What? You know Tim Buck too passed away, years ago. What? You didn't know that? No. Wow, bro. I'm sorry. To hear that. Uh, yeah, DJ Tim Buck too passed away. Five, six years ago, something like that, from cancer. Yo, people, that's crazy because a lot of people when they they find out mm -hmm. they don't they only tell like two people. So Tim Buck too. What's crazy is he's a Chicago legend. Yeah. Um, radio legend, DJ, most even Kanye shouted him out in his last one of his projects. Um, the life of Pablo. I think the last song on there he said, "Rest in peace, Tim Buck too." That was his last lyric, something like that. Yeah. Um, Tim Buck too had cancer and didn't tell anybody about it. Yeah, they do that. Yeah. Same thing. You know, treated the company treated uh, was it Mano or uh, what the fuck's his name, bro? 
I forgot his name, bro, but he was real tight with him, and they broke it, but he's the one that kind of broke it out to the public, but he didn't say shit to nobody. He had cancer and was battling it and didn't say nothing, bro. Really good dude. Man, it just reminds me of uh, Black Panther. Uh, mm-hmm. he, same thing with him. Yep. I think then Charlie Murphy. Mm-hmm. Timbuktu was like 30 years, 30-something 30 years old, though, bro. He was like 30. Yeah, he was like 30, bro. Young. And he's a legend. Young. Mm-hmm. Putting in work. Yep. Rest in peace, Timbo, too. Rest in peace, Timbo, too, man. It's good to have Chicago here, bro. I like having Chicago here. It gives me the vibes, you know what I'm man, saying? Man, you know, it's all love, bro. You know, it's, it's you know we gritty. For sure. <laughs> we a little gritty. Yo, you you got to... It's a different breed. When you're from Chicago, you can just recognize it. It's a different breed, bro. Um, And I'll always have love for that city, bro. It's just... Uh, it's beautiful, man. You know, you, you, you got... Like, man, you, you just got to watch how you move, you know? I lived uh, in Lincoln, Lincoln Park, Fullerton and Clark for a while, like uh-huh. five minutes from the Wiener Circle. That was yeah. dope. <laughs> Super dope. Uh, I had a lot of fun times out there, man. I'm not going to lie. And then Wrigleyville for Halloween is fucking insane. Lit. Yep. Lit. The whole downtown, like, uh, the whole downtown strip be crazy, though, man. For sure. I love downtown, man. All right. So we got an album coming from you in the next month or two, something next, like that. It's, you know what? It's, it's done now. Mon- Montana didn't sit his verse over. It's time to go. We got Twist on there. We got Montana 300 on there. Uh-huh. We got Busy Bone. Busy Bone on there. Maybe a surprise. Yeah, I got another we surprise. We got a bunch of there. shit from you on there, obviously. Oh, yeah. I'm going crazy. Would you say this is your best project? By far. Okay. You know, I, I'm get, I'm vulnerable in this one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, see, see, uh, I don't have the basic, uh, came from nothing, I was in the street hustling. Yeah, I did that, but also I had a job too and I sucked and I used to walk to work. You know, I do like realistic stuff like, yeah, I got fired, you know, uh, I got fired the day my son was born, you know. Is that true? I, I, yeah. From where? Uh, AT&T. Hell yeah, I used to work there too. For real? Yeah, it's just how cell phones. Dude, my son, my, my, son <laughs> was, my son was born the day I got fired. Really? Yeah, bro, it was cool. It's probably a great day then, yeah, right? <laughs> I came in there to a meeting, man, and uh, so I was like, you know, I was wearing these big, you remember the big chains? I had my name real big, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I was late to the meeting to fire me, right? In the mall, like a mall store? Or like it was a standalone store. Corporate store? No, you know what? It was in a strip, but it was, you know, it, wasn't a, it was For like sure. in a strip, but it was a standalone store. Out by where you lived and stuff? Yeah, it was in uh, like Bloomington. Okay. So I come in, man, and I was like, put my, I had my head down, you know, and then uh, it was like, yo pretty much like how you gonna be late to the meeting of if we gonna keep you or not <laughs> like, like, man, i had a show last night you know that's when i used to drink and stuff i was like i had a show last night man my bad I apologize you know and then they like fired me and then i got a call hey your son's at this hospital you hey at least you had a couple days off after that though. man you know i had a lot of days <laughs> right <laughs> were you selling cell phones yeah man i was cold bro me too bro i used to fucking slang cell phones Sla- bro. What? crazy bro i'm the i'm the what? yeah i'm the car charger king, <laughs> i got the package with the put- bluetooth headset and the like <laughs> it's, a, it's a synergistic package Okay. You you feel me? Okay. It's all it's already included in the price of the You got phone. the charger, you got the car phone charger, we got the Bluetooth headset for you. It's you can add in. a line to that account if you'd like and get a, you out of that contract. Got you. Got you. It's already packaged. Right. Yeah, bro, cell phones, the booming of cell phones were insane. I used to be a regional manager for T Mobile for a while. The not like um I don't know if you ever heard of the mobile solution TMS. <laughs> they used to have a bunch of kiosks in the mall and shit yeah, like that. Yeah. I was eighteen years old managing like four different stores, bro, like crazy Just shit. Being bro. a boss crazy shit bro being a boss i was hungry bro i was really fucking hungry bro actually i didn't go to college or anything i was literally i had a job as a sell i was working as a sales rep and i was working for this dude and he owned a bunch of locations bro and i'm like listen promoted me to assistant manager manager bro like i want this this and this and he just and actually i got fired like three years later after i was already i was the one that would pull like the loopholes there you know what i'm saying like yeah you you know you know what it is in the i know i know so and he used to tell me he's like he was like he called me by my last name he's like yo bro you gotta just you're, I see what you're doing, bro, but just tighten up, bro. He would tell me that all the time, too, and I'd still, you know. He was young. Yeah. I so was. They made it too easy. It's too easy to win. So yeah. you were like, I'm going to keep doing this, you know. So it is what I it was is. getting people approved. It didn't matter, bro. Like, you know. Because you found the loopholes. I found the loopholes. At least they were hitting their numbers. <laughs> they were hitting their numbers, bro. The problem was is what happened was is if you, if you notice now, um, these these little stores that are in the malls, they're not there anymore. Like these little kiosks, they barely had them. In there. It's all corporate now. Corporate took over the cell phone game. Yep. Back in the day, though, there used to be all these authorized agents that... I used to work for one. There you go. So that, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. Authorized so, retailers. Yep. And the authorized retailers, you were able to pull some strings and shit like that. Uh, but yep. those days are over with. Done. Do- done, though. Great yeah. industry, though. And the bo- the cell phone industry at the boom was fucking money. And it prepared you you prepared you for life because you're dealing with everybody. Yep. I got so many connects in the cell phone mm-hmm. store. I was rapping at the cell. I was handing out my joint. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Meeting people. I was handing out my CDs in the store. Meeting people, bro. Oh, yeah. 
So do you plan on uh, going on a tour this year or anything like that? Yeah, I plan on going on a tour. So I'm going on my own tour and then, you know, jump back on tour with Twista. Uh, but my goal is to be, this year is going to be great. It's already starting off great. I can tell, bro. I can, just, I can see it. So. Bro, I'm just, <laughs> bro, I'm, lo- I'm here looking at mountains, bro. It's, it's snow background, man, bro. Right. It's a snowstorm. You got people making ice uh, angels and stuff on the ground. Right. Like, it's just, yay. I'm in the sun. Like, I got, you know. And you're also out here. You're hosting a club tonight? Yeah, I'm at Club True tonight, bro. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you been there before? I don't think so, bro. I've never been there either. I hear it's like one of the top spots here in Arizona. Yeah, yeah. So I got I got that, man. I'm here to see you. Hell yeah, um, bro. And I might have another something else going on, they said, too. So they're just cool. People just grab me left Once and right. Once you land, bro, you're going to be all the spots here in Arizona, dude. Man, you know, my plan is to move out here. That'd be fire. I want to get a spot out here. Where at? I don't care. Scottsdale or Phoenix. Okay. Or whatever. Yeah. Everywhere has been nice but I've, where I've been. So. If you live if you live in Illinois and you move out here, it's a dream. There's just no other way to describe it. Really? Yeah. 100 percent you've got no traffic out here you've got no tolls the crime's a lot less um the people are fucking cool i think the food's great everybody says oh the food's way better in chicago i eat great out here bro. i'm gonna be honest with you i eat better out here than i did out there i didn't notice people not as aggressive in the, on the like driving like i was kind of i felt like a you know kind of like out a, here people aren't as aggressive yeah i feel like a bully a little bit compared to chicago i don't know the drivers out here are pr- pretty fucking crazy bro really i think chicago is worse way worse you know what? I've been in more accidents in Chicago, so I'll agree with you. Bro, Chicago, <laughs> you go over that traffic, you know, we, what? Yeah, no, I know. 294, yeah. 90. Y'all got a little, y'all wider, you know, the, the the roads ain't slick, you know, you got The problem with here, bro, is this is a melting pot of a bunch of people, and they drive however the fuck they want to from all over the country. No one's from here, bro. So oh, like, so everybody's just driving. Crazy. This is how we drive in New York. Right. Yo, yo, yo. This is New York. This is how we drive in Texas. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Most definitely. All right, bro, I want to hear your music. Um, I want to hear you perform. What are we doing today? Uh, You know what? I got, I'm going to do a little freestyle. Okay. I'm, I'm going to drop something for you. I got right. something for We're you. We're just going to hit you with a the beat then, bro. Hit me with the beat. We're going to hit you with the beat, bro. <laughs> All right. We're going to hit you with bro. the beat. We got Mario Cannon in the studio right now. He's about to perform God's Shootout. It's featuring Montana 300. I know this is going to be a big one, bro. Um, we're going to break it right here on the Matty Ice Show. Yo, 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 Matty Ice, what's up, baby? Bro, you got the ice, though, dog. You got the ice. A lot more than me. Hey, hey we got you. BBS, you already know what it is. Man. All BBs. All BBs. Shout out to Montana. Let's get it. Got a shootout. My first show with F.E.G. Duck, there was a shootout I don't think it was related to bro If somebody died, they blame him, that's the way that it go They weaponize music to keep us under control When 12 came, somebody barricaded the dope They used this body as a shield to protect bro on the floor On stage, I ain't think they was feeling me, I was preaching No gun boss with profanity, that I'm beasting A couple real ones came up to me, said I'm decent I know I'm in the trenches, screaming love, but I mean it And I really need it, tired of carrying demons I go shopping when I'm grieving, 10K just at Neiman's And I got the same jewel as Drake, I can say that You really think life is a game, but I don't play that If you don't like, watch me ball, take that 2K back I already know I'm a winner, I'm thinking Maybach My ops falling off, they looking dirty like they used to They was really broke the whole time, and let them confuse you 20 bands, 20 bands, that's what I'm used to That's not alone, I'm not alone, that's how I move to These days, these days, they wanna talk down We pay, we pay whatever it costs now You see the ice, your flesh and blood, be throwing salt down Remember me, the friend in need, she wanna call now You a sucker, you scared of me secretly That's why you deal with other losers to speak with me Show me a perfect relationship, I show you a fake one He only talk about money cause he don't make none Just so I can live life, I'm down to take one you hated on me too, cause I'm the great one. I been had sauce by credit A1. And now I trap in some N ones. Just to feed my mom's grandson. I mean my damn son. You know fellas ain't supposed to carry handguns. All blues, we don't really do Samsung's. You know we watching for them cameras when them fans come. Your man's dumb. He uses his own social for a PPP loan without no income. He pays trippers, he ain't even get his kids done. He bought designer, he ain't even pay his rent none. Holy shit. Mario Kenny. That's big, bro. <laughs> oh, God, shoot out. Hit. That's featuring Montana, too? Yeah. Woo. All right, bro. I'm going to say this um, right now. That's making the top 10. I don't know. It could be one, two, three. I don't know where we're going to be at, bro. That's that's the best. That's one of the best performances we've had this year on the show by far. Man, don't, I don't say that to me, man. That's going to no, make me feel so I'm bad, telling you man. 100%. That's one of the best performances we've had on the show this year, 100%. 
Bro, I'm man. telling you that right now. And I've, and I've interviewed already over like 50, 70 people already. Really? Um, This is definitely top three, 100%. I don't Thank know. You, I, I got to really, really watch it to see where we're at. But you're right there, bro. You, you're on the list, 100%, bro. Man, if, hey, Matty Ice, man. You already know. Look, I was just blessed to come here, man. I was honored that you asked me to come here. You know, Show, so bro. We're going to do it again, bro. Anytime, dude. Anytime, bro. We support you. We want to see you go up. We're going to support your project that's dropping next month. Um, we got big features on there. This track's gonna go fucking crazy. I can't wait to hear his verse. Um, <laughs> I already know it's up. Yeah, video coming for it. We got video okay. coming. So, My yeah. dog, Mario Cannon. We did it, bro. I'm looking forward to this one, bro. We going up, bro. Let's go. Let's get it. That's one of the best ones, bro. That's one of the best ones on the show, period, bro. So, we up.